Welcome to the circulatory system. This is the heart, the driving force between the whole system. The circulatory system brings blood to all the parts of your body. You should exercise and eat healthy foods to take care of your circulatory system. The heart is a muscle. Every beat pushes blood through your entire body. Close your fist. That's how big your heart is. It's a little to the left in the middle of your chest. Now that you've learned all about the heart, let's see what your blood does. Hi, I'm a red blood cell and I deliver oxygen to cells. That's their main energy supply. These are white blood cells and they're in charge of fighting off foreign substances. These are platelets. Their job is to fix veins and arteries when you cut yourself. They keep the blood inside where it belongs. Together we make up blood, the red fluid that comes out of you when you cut yourself. Our journey starts and ends in the heart. Blood is delivered to the entire body through blood vessels, tubes to transport it. Arteries are the vessels that bring us from your heart to your organs and your cells. Capillaries are small vessels where oxygen and food are exchanged. Veins are the vessels that bring us back to your heart from your organs. That's how cells and organs get the food and oxygen they need to survive. Then blood, specifically us, the red blood cells, take all the waste left by the cells and the carbon dioxide. Here we are at the heart. This is where our trip ends. Before we start a new trip, let's get loaded up with oxygen and nutrients. Thanks for helping us out. See you soon. The respiratory system extracts oxygen from the air, a gas our cells need to live and grow. The respiratory system also eliminates carbon dioxide that cells produce after using oxygen. This process is known as respiration. Respiration is an automatic, involuntary process. Air comes in through your nose and encounters little hairs that moisten it, heat it, and clean it to keep dirt out of your lungs. The air continues down the pharynx, the larynx, and then the trachea. The trachea, or windpipe, splits into two to make the bronchus inside the lungs. Once the air is inside the lungs, it goes through pathways called bronchioles. Your lungs are the most important organs in respiration. They take the oxygen from the air and expel the carbon dioxide that your body doesn't need. The alveolar sacs take that oxygen and send it to the blood to distribute through all the organs and cells of our body. The diaphragm located under your lungs helps fill the lungs with air, inhale. It also expels the air your body doesn't need, exhale. The air we exhale contains carbon dioxide and waste, and it is hot. You can feel the heat if you put your hand over your mouth when you breathe out. Smoking and pollution can harm your respiratory system. Exercise and breathing clean air are really important to take good care of it. Digestion is the process whereby food is transformed so that it can be absorbed and used by the body's cells. Digestion starts in the mouth with chewing and salivation. Teeth are used to chew and mash up the food. The salivary glands produce saliva to soften food. The tongue moves the food around, mixes it with saliva, and forms the bolus. The pharynx has a valve that opens to swallow, and then the bolus moves on to the esophagus. 
the bolus moves forward through the esophagus until it arrives at the stomach. The stomach secretes gastric juices that continue with digestion to process the food. This mass is known as chyme. Chyme crosses the pylorus on its way to the small intestine. Most of digestion occurs in the small intestine. The pancreas and the liver release juices to process fats and carbohydrates. Here, the substances the body needs are absorbed and passed on to the blood. Any substances the body has not yet absorbed go to the large intestine. There, the body absorbs the substances it needs and water. The rectum and anus are the final parts of the digestive system. Here, the substances the body does not need are expelled. Tip! A healthy diet, drinking water, and plenty of exercise are key to taking good care of your digestive system. If you want to learn more, click on more videos and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel and you'll stay up to date with new adventures.